So, Jonathan, what I'd like to go through with you guys is um, when talking about the domain and range, Chris, could you want to pick that up, please? When you guys go and pick up, when you guys look at the domain and range, let's go and just take a look at two graphs. All right? And you guys have a whole sheet, so you guys can just write this down. Let's graph down two graphs. Okay. All right? And what I want to do is I just want to talk to you about, again, when dealing with the domain and range, what exactly the domain and range looks like and how we're going to be able to figure it out. Well, so, first of all, let's kind of graph a parabola that's going to have a minimum value and open up. Okay. All right? Then, let's graph a parabola that's going to have a maximum value and open down. Randomly? Huh? Randomly? What? Yeah, I'm just randomly graphing these two. Because I want you to help, I want to look at how we're going to explain the domain range. Then I'll show you real quick how to find the domain range. All right? So, first of all, we're looking at the domain range here. Remember, the domain, all right, I'm not going to write this down. The domain is the set of all x values that can be evaluated for your function. So the way to look at this, as this graph, right, so as we keep on going left and right, Courtney, this graph is going to keep on expanding wider and wider, right? Is there an x, is there an x value? For every x value, is there going to be a y coordinate of this function? Yes. If you go over, you know, over 2, there's an x value. Over 3, there's an x value, right? Think about if I go to over 500. Is there going to be a value on this graph for an x value? Yes. So since there's every single x value, no matter what I pick, positive or negative, there's always going to be a value that's going to have an output, a value on this graph is your output value on this graph. So therefore, your domain is all real numbers. Or you could say our domain is all the x values stemming from negative infinity to infinity, to positive infinity. All right? So all the inputs, right? Every single x value is going to have an output value on this graph. Write this down. Have it in. Come on. Now, when looking at the range, now with dealing with the range, the range, we're not looking at the input values. The, now the range, we're looking at the output values, which is going to be the y values of your graph. So let's look at all the y values of my graph. Is it no matter what value I pick for x, am I ever going to have a y value that's less than 0? No, right? These y values, the lowest point it goes to is 0, and then it goes up. So my range is from 0 to infinity. All right? Now let's go and look at this domain and range real quick. So at this domain and range, again, if I pick an x value, I have an x value here. x value here. x value down here. And no matter how far I go to the left, there's always going to be a y value for this x value. Every single x value is going to have a place on my graph. Even when I go in the positive direction, no matter what x value I have, there's going to be a y, there's going to be an output value for it. So again, your domain is from negative infinity to infinity. There's no restrictions, guys. You can pick any number. Think about it this way. If you guys think of this equation, y equals x squared, can I plug in any number in for x and get something for y? Any number. Think of any number possible. Yes. You can plug it in, and you're going to get an answer, right? So therefore, your domain is all real numbers. But however, will you get always the all real numbers for the y? No, you can never get a negative number, right? If you square it, you're never going to get negative. Um, so that's just looking for the general function. However, let's look at this equation. Because this equation, the range, is not the range of this. Here, do I have values that are negative for the output? Yeah, yeah look at it. All these values, no matter if I put, if I do negative 1 for x, I go down to like negative 2 for y. So it's all these values down here. So it's all the values. So my range in this equation is now going to be from negative infinity. But how far up does it go? Does it go all the way to positive infinity? No, the range keeps on going all the way up to its vertex, which is going to be at negative 2. All right? So what you guys need to understand about this vertex, or what about the domain and range, is your domain for parabolas, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be all real numbers. Unless we add a constraint 
your domain, when dealing with parabolas, is going to be all real numbers. However, your range, your range is going to be dependent on where your graph opens up or opens down, and then the maximum or the minimum point on your graph. And we'll get a little bit more into that next class period.